can see for ourselves what exponential growth looks like by doing a little experiment. And if we can bring one of the handheld cameras in, we can have a look at this. So in this box, I have 225 armed mouse traps. And on each mouse trap, we have a ping pong ball. Now in a moment, we're going to take one more ping pong ball and we're going to drop it in through this hole in the top. <laughs> and it's going to set off a chain reaction. And in this chain reaction, the number of ping pong balls flying through the air is going to grow exponentially. OK, so who would like to volunteer to come and set this off? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Um, let's have you there. Yep. Unless you'd like to make your way along the end of the row. <laughs> well, if you'd like to... If you'd like to come and stand just there, and just, uh, just turn that way. OK, that's good. And what's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Matthew, you'd like to hold that. Mm -hmm. Now, in a moment, we're going to give you a 3, 2, 1 countdown, OK? When we get to go, all I want you to do is to place the ball in through that little hole at the top. You manage that? Yeah? Yep. OK. Are we ready? 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> OK, so, so we have a high-speed camera that was looking at that, and perhaps we can just do a little action replay and see that in slow motion. So there's the first ball, setting off a couple more. Each of those is setting off several more. And on that curve, we can see the number of balls growing in this very dramatic way. But what's really impressive about exponential growth is that the rate of growth is itself growing exponentially.